What is good, y'all? Sean the Swole Gang, baby. We are back with another video. And today I'm just talking with y'all on camera today because I want to test something out. Now, I've talked about my love for anime uh, here recently on the channel. And your boy has gotten more and more in depth into these animes, right? I've been watching them, going crazy, and I'm going ham on them. And I want to start doing some, maybe not anime reviews or, you know, just coming on and talking to you guys. So I don't ever really talk to you guys. I'm always reacting or, uh, showing off something so i'm never really just talking with you guys in terms of things that are going on in life i've been a forever since a channel update uh, so today i just want to talk about the first episode of chainsaw man man i know it's been pretty hot pretty popular here lately episode one did just drop a couple days ago and i went and checked it out i wasn't sure how i feel about it now let me give a little backstory to that naruto was the first ever anime that i watched and unfortunately i guess bad news for other animes i always compare them to this so when it comes to an anime story, I'm like, ah, the story's cool, but I'll try a better training arc. Or, ah, they playing in my emotions, but they didn't have me crying. Like Naruto had me crying. Like I've watched this whole anime from start to finish. Naruto and Naruto Shippuden two or three times completely. I think probably twice. Uh, and I, I, I can go back and watch it again, straight through and, and not miss a beat. Like I, Naruto is the anime that I always compare everything to. So this one, I try to be more subjective and just think in general, like what do I like to see? So Chainsaw Man. Boy, what I said, first episode had me hyped. He was getting down, getting active. The storyline like is building pretty well. I think I liked where that started off with as an episode one. Uh, and I just kind of want to break everything down as far as what I thought, my thoughts and opinions. We can share them down below in the comment section too as well. So starting off with the intro. And yes, I had to bring Naruto on for this. He wanted to hear this. Uh, starting off with the intro. I don't like too many of the intro songs that I've heard. And some of the ones that I've watched. So I was like, yeah, the intro's kind of cool, kind of cool, kind of confusing. But obviously, it's episode one. You don't know much is going on. As the season progresses, you'll probably be like, oh, yeah, that's there, that's there, that's there. It'll make more sense. Like, all the people that were, I don't know. I didn't even know the American character was <laughs> watching that intro. So, I mean, you can't take it with a grain of salt, though. I think it was pretty cool, though. Pretty dope. I think it showed off some really good scenes to get you hyped for the rest of the season. Uh, as far as openers, right? the first episode what i think it should encompass and what it should do it should draw you to want to see more episodes i think it did that it gave me a little backstory on our main character who he is how he got into a situation and i'm not gonna spoiler alert bro it's been out for like four days the fact that first of all how do you owe somebody 38 million dollars or yen and still live i know he had to kill himself to get out of that situation how do you let somebody just owe you 38 million and just keep borrowing that's a bad business partner, but you lose now on a lot of money. Yeah, you got life errors forever and then you can make your son do it or whatever. But think about it though. Killing him really doesn't do anything. Like you just lost 38 million. You still like somebody, you just ate 38 million just to kill him just because they weren't paying. Like you, you're not, you weren't going to really kill him. Uh, now, as far as plot twists go, I think that midsection plot twist of the, the fact that they tried to kill my mans, that was an epic uh, plot twist there on that end. And the fact that his pet, pig dog devil thing was able to take over his body and that's how he became chainsaw man uh quote unquote like seeing his origins of chainsaw man not only just the origins and backstories of the main character but how he became chainsaw man epic dope i really enjoy that i want to see more of how the world works now because he's always talking about devil hunters devils are around so you can obviously see what he's going to be battling the devils uh and he's going to become a part of these devil hunter groups right so Probably one of those weird situations where like, okay, he's half of them. Do I, do we really accept him? Like, uh, Demon Slayer. He has a demon on his back, but he's a Demon Slayer. Do we really accept him? And they chose to, and he's a beast. Um, uh, Bleach. He's half, uh, Soul Reaper, half human. Do we really accept him? He's an animal. So we're, I'm hoping it progresses in that kind of thing. They're probably going to like, some people are not going to like him. Uh, but eventually they'll grow over time to be his best friends. And obviously, you know, this dude has goals and dreams. So for an episode one, it's got me really hyped for the series. I got to definitely give this anime up there in its top priorities. I know people got, you know, where are you ranking the new animes? Chainsaw, Demon Slayer, all that stuff. Ah, it's one episode. I can't really put it above Demon Slayer yet because it's just been one episode. Now it's got me hyped for sure. I think this it's got high, a high ceiling. Am I putting it above Demon Slayer or like some of the other animals that have been out or at least have a whole complete season out? no no but that's you know neither, neither here or there like let me know what you guys think down below like where are my chainsaw man fan base at what are y'all like i know y'all ride or die for it, even though it just dropped but i mean has it been out in manga already i obviously i'm not hip to like the manga side watch a lot of anime 
I ain't been reading though. I don't read like that. But if I need to get into reading, let me know too. If I need to like start actually reading this stuff, bro, I can go. Mars no up the road. <laughs> but um, where do you guys see this ceiling at? Like, where can you see it going? Do you see it knocking one of the big three out? Naruto Bleach One Piece? Is it going? Is it going up that high? Is it knocking out some of these newer generation big threes? Boruto, Demon Slayer, and My Hero Academia? Is it knocking one of them out? I don't know. Uh, that's just my thoughts and overall uh pains in the beat. Outro, it's cool. Outro song I think was pretty cool. Like I, I gotta you know finish up the video. I think that was pretty cool. Uh probably could use a better outro, but then again, like I'm here for the action and fighting. The music sometimes can be cool. Like Naruto got my favorite one, Bluebird, like that that shit rock. But you know, I'm I'm not really here for the music. Of course we can do reaction videos though to anime intros and outros if y'all want to see that too. That's that's an option. <laughs> But let me know down below what you guys are thinking of Chainsaw Man. First reactions, first opinions. Can you not wait for episode two? Are you done with it after episode one? If you are, let me know too. Like, what did it do so wrong that made you just completely done after one episode? Even if it were a terrible episode, I'd still be interested to see. Maybe like it picks up in two or three. Like maybe it's just a slow starting anime. Like I'd, I'd be interested to get a little bit more. So I think I was watching Inuyasha. It really got. It didn't start out boxing, box like the storyline kind of captured a little bit. It didn't start out like fighting, fighting for like it kind of slowly picked up. So you know it, it is what it is so you guys gotta let me know what you guys think of that as of right now i feel like i gotta give an updated top three list right of my favorite animes of all time that i've been able to complete and just a quick list of that we've got i'm catching up on this but i'm gonna go ahead and put it in here bleach one piece dragon ball z naruto boruto which i'll separate boruto my hero academia demon slayer um death note inuyasha is that nine damn been on nine anime uh, hayaku the volleyball anime that some of y'all were hyped off of that was a basketball one i can't remember what kurosaki high school i think it was kurosaki no a hero no sora there it is a hero no sora um so i i really finished like 11 different anime that's crazy and now chainsaw man at 12 so I'm, I'm i'm getting up there i'm getting my anime watching up let me know how many animes you've watched to completion or like are currently watching like kind of like how i just did like i'm currently watching some but i'm putting them in that category still I'm, but I'm about 12 now. Like, I'm doing pretty good. I'm catching back up. Oh, Hunter x Hunter. I almost forgot that. It's a 13. Like, I'm in here. I'm, I'm community. I'm here. <laughs> so let me know what you guys' rankings are. What are your top three? Right now, my top three is definitely still Naruto. My Hair Academia has actually cracked my top three. Is number two to me. And my third favorite right now has to be, and I, can, I will rave on this till the end of time until they go back and fix it. Death Note probably would have been in my top three if it wasn't for that ending, the ending was some BS. Uh, if you ain't seen it, go watch it. I'm not going to spoil that one, but Death Note's ending was some BS to me. If you like the ending, more power to you. For those that have seen it, I was team. I was the other team, so that's that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil nothing. But number three right now, I'll probably say is either probably Bleach. Demon Slayer does have some fighting, but I got to see. He's got to get. It's got to build up a little bit more. I need more than two seasons. Uh, oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I almost forgot about that's 14. Maybe box. I need more seasons before I can consider that a top three. So Naruto, My Academia, Bleach are my top three. Let me know what yours are. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys do enjoy me just being on camera and talking to you guys for a little bit. If you guys do and want more of this, let me know. In the comment section down below, like, subscribe as well. Share this out with friends and family. And uh, get at me on Twitter. It is in the description down below. If there's anime news that you want to see me hop on camera and talk about, I'll get on camera and we'll talk about it. Like, I'll go learn about it first and talk about it. Or if it's something I already know about, I'll talk about it. Like, I could argue any Naruto point to death. Uh, any of those. Like, maybe I can do a video. If you guys want to see it, we'll, we'll put this one in. I'll put it in the comment section too. Like it up. If it gets like 10 likes, I'll, I'll go ahead and drop it. We'll rank the top three best Naruto fights. And this will include Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Top three best fights, in my opinion. I'll make a video about that. If you guys want to see it, I'll put a comment down below. Just go ahead and like that. Thumbs that up. And if I get 10, we'll do it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy, Shot Too Smooth, aka Black Hokage, Black Avatar, and King Lee. And I'll catch you guys in the next what? Video. Believe it. I'm gone. Peace.